Hey guys, Joster here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another projector review. So this time I have the brand new BenQ TK850. This is a 4K HDR projector with some very cool high-end features and an affordable price. So if you're looking for a 4K projector for your home theater or any kind of room, this projector could be for you. Welcome to the channel. Sit back, relax, and let's do this. So I have reviewed BenQ projectors before and one thing I can tell you that is that they have beautiful picture quality and this is no different. Before I jump into picture performance, let me show you what's inside the box. So obviously the projector along with the instructions, power cable and the remote control. Now this remote control has a lot of buttons which can be overwhelming if you're not familiar with it, but you'll get used to it. The buttons also have a backlight, so this is very useful in a dark room. In the front of the projector, you'll find the lens and a sensor for the remote. There is also this cover that eliminates light bleed. In the back is where all the ports are located. There is a 12 volt trigger, the RS-232 for PC. There's a mini USB port for service, a USB 3.0, which you can use as a media reader or to power up your fire stick. There are two HDMI 2.0 ports. There is another USB type A port, optical port for audio and a 3.5 millimeter port for audio as well. The two 10 watt speakers are also located in the back and they sound very good for small speakers. I was very surprised with the sound quality as well. Now on top is where the power and the menu buttons are located and also the focus wheel, zoom and lens shift. Now the zoom feature is one of my favorites because you can easily adjust the image size without moving the whole unit. This is super handy guys. Alright, so let's talk about image quality because I know this is important. Okay, so this is a DLP projector that uses XPR technology or pixel shifting to achieve 4K. So it's not a native 4K, but trust me, it looks beautiful. It has a color wheel designed for brightness. It is rated at 3000 lumens, so this works great in a bright room or under daylight. In my case, I'm using it with an ALR screen by XY Screens and it looks great. I reviewed this screen before, so I'm going to leave a card on top, so just in case if you want to see that video. Even under some ambient light, colors remain vivid, but honestly, I still prefer to have the lights off. Another important factor is the black levels and contrast. Well, this projector uses dynamic iris for that. Basically, dynamic iris is a mechanism in projectors integrated between the projector lamp and the lens that opens or closes depending on the overall picture brightness projected in the image to adjust the light. For bright images, the iris opens wider to allow more light, while for dark images, the iris closes to reduce the amount of light projected. Now, this feature makes a huge impact on the picture quality, especially in dark scenes. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I love the zoom feature. It allows you to adjust the image in seconds. It has a 1.13 to 1.47 throw ratio, which means that you can project a 100 inch image from just around 8.2 feet away. So you don't need a large room to enjoy a large picture. Now, if you love sports, this is probably one of the best projectors in the market. With its motion enhancer feature, it inserts 36 interpolated frames per minute for a seamless 60 frames per second videos. It basically eliminates jitter and laggy images for a much smoother playback. Now, another feature that I love from this projector is of course 3D. It uses active 3D, so you do need to buy the right 3D glasses for it. I connected my Xbox One X, which supports 3D as well, and it worked great. The resolution drops to 1080p when using 3D mode, and it's also locked at 24Hz, so no motion interpolation is available. Now, I love watching 3D movies in a large screen. I think all projectors should have this feature. One thing I notice when using 3D is that the picture gets a little dim, but it looks very sharp and detailed. Now that I mentioned my Xbox, I also tested gaming. I don't have a tool to measure input lag, but it felt very good. I played Battlefield 5 and the gameplay was smooth and responsive. Not as fast as my monitor or my 4K TV, but it was enjoyable. 
Same with Forza Horizon. Games look beautiful in HDR, very colorful and bright. I didn't notice any ghosting either, which is also important. I also tested Red Dead Redemption 2 in HDR colors look super bright. Even in dark scenes, I was able to see lots of details. So if you enjoy gaming on a large screen, the TK850, it's a great choice. Now, should you buy this projector? Well, if you enjoy sports and have a bright room or if you just don't have a dedicated home theater, this projector is probably one of the best to get. It has high-end features, but in a budget and friendly price range. It sells for $1,700, but keep in mind that you're getting a, a 85 or up to 120 inch picture size in 4K and HDR. Plus, you also have the ability to take it with you virtually pretty much anywhere. So yes, I would recommend this projector. The only negatives I could mention is that it takes around 3 to 4 seconds when switching from SDR to HDR mode and sometimes that could be annoying. Also, it doesn't have an operating system, so I use my Fire Stick to stream my apps or movies, but other than that, this projector is an excellent choice. Alright guys, so that's it for this video review. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about this projector. Are you planning on buying a projector this year or maybe a, a brand new 4K TV? Let me know in the comments below what are you guys looking for. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. 